We're so close. Do you we like are. Dak? Do you think you can win a Super Bowl with Dak Prescott? I do think we? we I do think we can win with Dak, but I, I, I do think he needs to. Um, he's obviously the leader. He's got the. He has the ability, but I think maybe there's something going on up here with the, the, the coaching and Dak, and there. I think we need to let him loose and get him out of his head a bit. Well, it seems like is. Have we determined yet, Chris? That is it. McCarthy calling the plays yet? Has he made yeah, that announcement? He, he said that he's, he's going to. Right. But nothing official, official. That strikes me as a coach saying, if I'm going down, I'm going down with my play calls. That's what yeah. it sounds like to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no dummy, Mike McCarthy. He knows exactly what might be on the wall and what, right. what's at stake and, right. and what he'd like to do. I think it, you know, I think that's what that sounds like, unless he's going to hand it off to somebody else. I don't right, know. right. And, you know, but Micah Parsons, is, he's, he's incredible. He's what, incredible. A, what a terrific player. Isn't he, he is he unbelievable? He is. Yeah, he's a game changer. He is yeah. a total game changer he's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so did you grow some, up going to the Texas Stadium and just like it, we did, in yeah, the, the stadium old, with the hole in the roof? The, the, the like, old Cowboy Stadium? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So yeah, that, to, that, that sun would hit it. It was just like, you know, blinding. Yeah. So who was the quarterback when you used to go to these games? Troy Aikman. Number eight, baby. Mm-hmm. I actually have a good story about Troy. Please. Like years later, I'm in this restaurant in Dallas, right? Yes. Again, I, I, I wore number eight. Like Troy was, you know, it was, like, it was a great time at, to be at a Allen kid. At Allen High School. At, at Allen High School. Okay. The 90s were great in Dallas. So um, so I walk into the restroom, like standing at, at the urinal here, and, and 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 who comes right next to me? Oh my goodness, Troy Aikman. So like, I have to do it. So I just turn and start talking to Troy. You know, like, hey, oh, you're my, my hero. I I, I I wore number eight. You know, I play quarterback too. And the guys actually like tried to you know have a conversation with me. I'm sure he's thinking, you know, if you could just wait 20 seconds, <laughs> you and I could you know, take this outside. But so he did, in fact have a conversation with you. I got a few nods and a thank you, thank you, and then, you know. Because you know those are the two spots, you know, (laughs) eating and going to the bathroom is when you normally, you know, I like to think stay that, away. That's right. But I just, I feel like we, we shared this intimate moment, Troy and I. And so we've been, <laughs> we've been bonded ever since. And is this where we tell know? the Jay Cutler story? <laughs> I is think it, so. Okay. That, uh, who's the, which actor who came on here? Um, he, he was, um, was Badger, Badger from, from Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. Matt Jones. Matt Jones. Oh yeah, I know Matt Jones. Oh, yeah. You know Matt Jones. I know Matt Jones, yeah. You gotta have him tell the Jay Cutler story. Okay. I don't know Cause he one. is a Bears fan and he saw Jay Cutler at a urinal. Oh, yeah. And fanboyed him in the same way you fanboyed Troy Aikman. It's what you do. Now, let me ask you this question. <laughs> you seem like a smart well, guy, Matt Barr, who knows that. the sport of football. Okay. Okay. You played it. Your dad coached it. You're a fan of it. Yeah. Do you think the exchange between Matt Jones and Jay Cutler, this is yes or no question, went as well as your conversation with Troy Aikman? Yes or no? Oh, I know Matt Jones. It was, it was, it was, it was way more entertaining. I bet. Well, Cutler and him. They, I bet they ended up having drinks afterwards. Uh, <laughs> uh, no? Sorry. Thanks for playing. We have some nice parting gifts for you. No, he <laughs> fanboyed him. He told him the same thing you probably told Troy Aikman, and his response was, "Don't care." Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Cutler, wow. To the point where Cutler, any, don't care. That's what he said. Don't really? care. Yeah, don't give care. me a break. Yeah. And we had Larry King actually uh, reenact it years ago. <laughs> what's 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 he doing now? I guess he's probably sitting in a nice house somewhere. Uh, probably, <laughs> Jay Keller? I think yeah. so. With a goat and in a podcast, right? Isn't that what he's doing? <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of farm With, animals. Yeah, right. He's yeah. doing something like that. Yeah. But that's yeah. nice that Troy actually. Uh, Cool, yeah. Had yeah. a conversation with you. That's two, right. two number so, eights going number one. Actually, a few years later, I was. At, I was I, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I remember being. I was at training camp a few years after that, and we, we wound up at the same restaurant. And I wanted to go over there and say, "Remember, I'm the guy that." Uh, you know that? Yeah, took a. T- you can't double down. Took a leak next to you, pal. Huh? That's me. The blonde guy. Well, we'll definitely post this video later on, and we'll have to at Troy Aikman. We'll see it. We'll see it. it. We'll we'll, we'll reenact it. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.